Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see the problem related with soil mechanics in the topic of retaining wall. So the problem is, a smooth backed vertical wall is 6 meter height and retain a soil with the bulk unit weight of 20 kiloton per meter cube then phi equal to 20 degree. So that is angle of internal friction is 20 degree. So the top of the wall soil level is with top of the wall it's horizontal if the soil surface carries a udl of 50 kilonewton per meter square find the total stress on the wall per meter okay so the this is a surface this is retaining wall okay so retaining wall is 6 meter high so then the udl of 50 kilonewton per meter square is over there so this is horizontal so here, so the phi value is 20 degree, so then gamma equal to 20 kiloton per meter cube, okay. So from that we have to find out, so uh, we know the, first we have to find out the P1 value and as well as P2 value, so that is, this is pressure distribution diagram, so here P1 and here also P2, okay. So, so this is P1. And uh, this one is P2. Okay, so now we have to find out the Ka value, coefficient of active earth pressure. So the formula is 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi. Okay, so now 1 minus sin phi value is 20 degree divided by 1 plus sin 20 degree. So solving this, we got the value of 0 0.49. Okay, so next thing is we have to find out the equivalent head uh, due to UDL. So now we can take the 50 divided by 20. Okay, so this is kilonewton per meter cube divided by kilonewton per meter square. Okay, so now we got the value of 2.5 meter. Okay, so now we can uh, find out the P1 value. So this is a uh, pressure at the top of the wall. Okay, so P1 equal to Ka into gamma into H. So now Ka value is 0 0.49 into gamma value is 20 and height value is 2.5 ok so from that uh, we can find out 24.5 kilo newton per meter square ok so this p1 value so here 24.5 kilo newton per meter square ok so next thing is uh, we have to uh, find out the uh, p2 value that the base of the wall So at the base, so uh, the total height is 6 meter, okay, so 6 plus 2.5, totally 8.5 meter, okay, so now pressure at the bottom, bottom of the wall, so now we can uh, use the same formula, so now K into gamma into H, so now we can take 0 0.49, into 20 into 8.5 okay solving this we got the value of 83.3 kilonewton per meter cube okay so here the pressure at the bottom of the wall 83.3 kilonewton per meter square okay so now uh, we can take the total thrust total thrust equal to so first p1 into h so that is p1 is 24.5 into h that is uh, h value is 6 okay so again plus so this is the area of into the pressure value so the total value is 83 so we can minus 24.5 here so 83.3 minus 24.5 into the height is uh, 6 meter okay so solving this so this is because this area so uh, this height and this one so uh, l into b okay so length length into b so the 24.5 into 6 meter so here so and he is half bh so half into b value is uh, here the only value is the total is 60 sorry 83.3 minus 24.5 so this uh, x will be uh, here okay so into height so now solving this we got the value of 323.4 kilonewton okay so this is a final answer 
So this is a method we can solve the problem. Again, we will see next video. Thank you.